like this, and I'm gonna add a little bit of emphasis there, and one there. And again, I'm thinking where the light shines, so all this stuff's gonna have to go on this side here. I know what I paint, and I kind of paint what I know, and so I started running, but this is also a reflection of my life and the fogs and stuff that I've gone through so many times. And I tried to create a mood because that's how I felt at that time. I was kind of a tough time. Because people really, some people really don't care anyway. They feel bad for you, they feel sad. But I wanted to be more of, of an example. Just said, hey, look what that guy's, look what he went through. He was, wasn't supposed to make it. So I focused on positive things and moving forward. And it's the same way when you're developing your business as an artist. It's the same way when you're cultivating your life as a person to be successful. You cannot focus on, totally focus on the negative things. Use those things to make you stronger and build on, but don't use them as a crutch not to move forward. My name is Emil Vinbert. I was um, born and raised in Alaska, and I lived pretty much from one end of the state to the other. And uh, when we lived in southeast Alaska, we lived really close to a river, so I spent a lot of time going up and down the river. And I think that's one of the things that really helped me become an artist because I learned not to focus on myself, but really what was going around in all my surroundings. So. I became very attuned with the, the water flow, the animals, the smells, all the different senses. And I think that's really helped me out to this day. But I also like to express in different colors and the colors reflect all the different moods I was going through. And of course, this little thing that you'll find in all my art, there's always water or sky somewhere around in that. Cool. Or just a few years ago, when I came down with cancer and it was my birthday, a bunch of friends surprised me and they invited one of my old art teachers up. Um, I lived in southeastern Alaska. I had an art teacher that we would also go out and meet all the tour ships. The art teacher used to teach us a little secret. So there'd be a couple of us who would be painting as the people came off. And he goes, now find the old lady and, and the man and find out what color clothes they're wearing and what color their blouse is or their pants. And I want you to put that in the picture because people are more attracted to things that are like them. So all of a sudden, I noticed I started selling people, uh, selling the pictures. They go, boy, I love that picture. That's just like the... It's just like the color I have on me and people felt more comfortable because it was like them. And I'm telling this story how he really helped me and I could hear him laughing in the background and I'm thinking, am I doing something funny? Is there something on my face? What's going on? And I said, well, why are you laughing? And he goes, because that's not what I was trying to teach you. I said, well, what were you trying to teach me? And he said, well, I only gave you six colors. And what I was trying to teach you to do was blend all the colors so you could come up with the color that that person was wearing. So I was teaching you how to blend colors, make them, and use what you have to create a different color. So it was, it was interesting from the business standpoint, he t indirectly taught me, hey, to market, people like things that they can identify with and colors that they like. On the other hand, I used, I, I, I got used to using the few colors I had. I didn't need to have a thousand different colors. I learned how to blend and mold to create a color. So I was, it was a great teaching. So I learned a little bit about business and a whole lot about mixing colors and shades and stuff, all because of that one scenario. I didn't want to just create a picture, I wanted to create some emotion. So, when you're walking through the market, you'll notice all the little circles, the flowers, just, just that energy, that's what I try to create when, I, when I'm painting. I think the biggest thing, when people get weighed down by bills and family issues and problems, the biggest issue is, don't wait for that to go away. Learn to work that into your life. That, 
that is who we are. And I find that the, the best musicians, the best artists, the best people who write poetry, they take what they're going through in that particular situation and they bring it in. I, when I was fighting cancer, I remember looking at some of my pictures I had and I could see the pain in the picture. I, I was reflecting what was going on in my life at that time. So embrace that type of stuff. Don't run from it. I, have, I run into more people that are worried about what are they gonna do on Saturday or Sunday, that hike or that going to see that concert. Stop. Look at every day that we have. And again, it's more, I'm a little more acutely aware of that because a few years ago, I didn't know if I was gonna be here or not because of my cancer. But when you, when you get up in the morning, man, just think of that as a gift. So don't only focus on all the other stuff that's going on in your life, the pain, the misery, the boss, and all that kind of stuff. Focus on what can I do to make myself better? What can I, what can I do to help other people? And when you focus on others, it's amazing what happens. Your, your problems go by the wayside. So that's so important as an artist. One of the things that I do in art is I will make a lot of things look very realistic and then I'm very impressionistic when it comes to this. So it's amazing how your eye corrects this to fills in what you want it to see. It's so important to be accepting and open to other cultures and other groups of people um, and ask why they do things. If we're not, if, if you just stay with your own group of people as artists, you may develop your own little style really well, but you're not gonna grow. And I see people that get stuck in a rut, not only in their personal life by watching TV and working for the weekends, but I see artists that will only stick to one genre and one type of thing. And you're not gonna grow unless you experiment and go out into other areas. Northwest Artists is a place where we can surround ourselves with positive people, positive energy, also hone and develop our skills and really make an impact. So we can help not only change ourselves, but change the people around us, but and hopefully change this world. Because if we're not changing, again, we're gonna be dead and this is all gonna be gone. I wanna make an impact on this world. And I wanna help other people to make an impact. And change is so important. Because we're gonna change one way or another. We're gonna change positive or negative. And if you're looking at your life right now, we're all artists, like I said earlier. I really believe we are. We're either good artist or bad artist. What are you doing in your life? You have created the mess you're in. You've created the good situation you're in. You've created the sorrows. That stuff is, is a creation. So why not create something that's positive, with good, with good energy and helping people and a fun envir environment where other people want to be involved too. And when people see that, they're drawn to your art, they're drawn to you as a person, and it's amazing what happens.